Hi, this video is going to look at some of the new information that is now needed as part of the building regulation application process. On 1st of October 2023, a new set of building regulations came into force. These were released in response to the Hackett report. In one of our previous videos, linked in the descriptions, we looked in detail at the new duty holder roles and responsibilities. It may be helpful to watch that video to understand these responsibilities before coming back to this video. The changes in the legislation make it clear that it is these duty holders, the client, principal contractor and principal designer, contractors and designers, who have responsibility for complying with the building regulations. The role of building control and the role of the registered building inspector is to guide these duty holders on how to discharge their duties. It is not the role of building control to offer design advice or tell the duty holders how their design can comply with the building regulations. The introduction of duty holders will affect the information that building control bodies will require. In addition to the usual commissioning and pre-completion information, all building control bodies will require a compliance declaration from the three key duty holders for all types of building work. These are the Client Compliance Declaration, Principal Designer Compliance Declaration, and the Principal Contractor Compliance Declaration. Compliance declarations should be signed by each person listed above and include the following information. The name, addresses and contact details of each duty holder. A statement by the client confirming that works are completed and that, to the best of the client's knowledge, the works comply with the applicable requirements of the building regulations. A statement by each principal contractor or sole contractor confirming the dates of their appointment and that they have fulfilled their duties as a principal contractor under Part 2A, Duty Holders and Competence of the Building Regulations. A statement by each principal designer or sole or lead designer confirming the dates of their appointment and that they have fulfilled their duties as a principal designer under the same part of the building regulations. We will require these statements before we undertake our final inspection. We will not be able to issue our final certificate until we have received these statements. The statements must be signed by the duty holders named in the building regulation application or the person named when a notice is issued of a change of duty holder. For non-domestic work, the client may nominate themselves as the principal designer or principal contractor, and they can then sign and issue all three statements if the PC or PD goes out of business or the client has difficulty in getting them to sign it. This could be the case in a dispute or if the principal designer or principal contractor have not been appointed with compliance declarations included and refuse to sign unless an additional fee is paid. The client takeaway is this, get your paperwork and appointments in order. There are two PAS frameworks for the competency of duty holders. PAS 8671 for principal designers and PAS 8672 for principal contractors. New additional information is required in order to appoint a registered builder control approver. This includes the following. Confirmation that the work is not being undertaken on a higher risk building. The height of the top story of the building the construction phase start date. This is the date at which work starts on site. This should not include site setup, demolition or enabling work. Building regulations commencement. This is the date 
at which the works achieve a suitable criteria to be considered as commenced. We have made another video about definitions of commencement, which is linked in the description. For domestic projects or customers, the lead designer or contractor submitting the application must provide a duty holder notification to the building control body. For commercial projects or customers, the client shall provide a signed duty holder notification. This should include the current and any previous building control principal designers or principal contractors for the works. To help your application progress as smoothly as possible, please ensure that the following information is available and provided to Builder Control. The client, principal designer and principal contractor's duty holder notifications. This should be company name, company addresses, phone number, email addresses and named individual from the company for each duty holder. If any duty holder changes during the design or construction phase, a new duty holder notification would be required with an end date for the original duty holder and a start date for the new duty holder. It is the client's responsibility to provide duty holder notifications. Start date and commencement dates are required before we can accept the application. Start dates should be at least five days after the date of the initial notice. The commencement date should be after the start date. All these dates are estimates and can be changed at any time once the application has been made. Please provide dates so we can process the application. We can sort out any changes afterwards. If work does not include construction of a concrete floor slab, we would also need a description of 15% of the works. This can be an approximate description and has absolutely no bearing or impact on compliance, but it is within the regulations that we must have this information before we can accept the application. Please provide one so we can process your application. We provide standard forms on our online application system where all this information can be provided. And if you have any specific questions, please just get in touch. Thank you for watching.